Hi, I'm Senator Tom Harkin, and I welcome all of you to Altoona for the 8th Annual Renewable Fuel Summit. We Iowans take enormous pride in the achievements of our biofuels producers. Our state is number one in production of ethanol and biodiesel, and we are leading the way in the commercialization of advanced biofuels. Thanks to the pioneering efforts of companies like Poet and DuPont and Fiberrite. However, with achievement comes challenge. Your success has poked a sleeping giant and made it very angry. The oil and liquid fuels industry is alarmed that its century-long dominance in the transportation market is threatened. And you know, suddenly vehicle efficiency is cutting into the growth of that market. And biofuels are providing highly attractive alternatives. So, surprise, surprise, the fossil fuels crowd is attacking biofuels on all fronts saying the RFS is unworkable, that ethanol ruins engines, saying they can't blend more than 10% ethanol, saying consumers don't want more biofuels, and on and on. Of course, we anticipated the blend wall when Congress passed the RFS. Its very intent was to allow biofuels to reach and then exceed 10% of transportation fuels markets. So EPA's proposal to go backwards with the RFS to require less biofuel in 2014 than in 2013 is completely wrong-headed. Supposedly, EPA and OMB are concerned that higher volume obligations will drive up the RINs prices, and that in turn will drive up gasoline prices. But that theory is not supported by either evidence or logic. In the meantime, EPA's decision has put a whole thriving industry at risk. So I have joined with others to fight this destructive decision. And I know I can count on you to pitch in as we do everything possible to reverse it. We need to make sure that EPA doesn't snatch defeat from the jaws of victory by triggering a biofuels retreat, just as you folks are proving that these are the fuels of the future, a boon not only to Iowa, but to our entire nation. So again, I salute the amazing achievements of your industry. And in the year ahead, let us stand together to fight the campaign of lies and disinformation that threatens your great American success story. So thank you, friends, for your great support and working together down through the years. And again, I wish you all the best for a productive summit here in Altoona.